Hey, it's Heather, and I'm here today, my last day in Madrid. And you know, I've been having tapas all week, and of course there's a lot of wine, but I noticed people have a lot of mixed drinks. So I have my friend here, Jerry, who's a film producer, but also a cocktail enthusiast, who's gonna show me a little bit about cocktails. I like wine, I like cocktails, but I don't drink cocktails, because if I do both, well, that's a little too much. So Jerry's gonna make for me, what are you gonna make for me today? Well, I'm gonna make two cocktails for okay. you. I'm gonna make a sidecar, and I'm going to make a Floridita. Okay. Now, the sidecar is a, a cocktail that's made with usually cognac. Yeah. But here in Spain, we're going to use Spanish brandy. Okay. It's not that hard. It's real simple. Okay. There's only three things you got to remember. Okay. Follow a good recipe. Ah, good recipe. Okay. Fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Fresh squeezed juices. Okay. Very good. Cold everything. Cold everything. So ice is key. Chill the glass. Chill the cocktail, everything. Everything's cold. Everything's cold. Okay. So we're going to make this recipe. And what we've got here is a nice Spanish brandy. Which is called Carlos, Carlos Primero. Carlos, Carlos Primero. Carlos Primero, I'm sorry. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. And um, the thing about Spanish brandies is that they're a little bit sweeter than cognacs. Okay. And so you, you sort of have to make adjustments. You have to use a little less Cointreau because that's also sweet. Right. And maybe a little bit more lemon juice. Now, to my recollection, a sidecar is an old school kind of cocktail. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The story uh, is supposedly it was invented in World War One. I. I think it was World War One or World War Two. Okay. And it was named um, because the captain who drank it a lot at a bistro outside of Paris would ride back and forth to the bistro in a sidecar. All right. So. so we start with one and a half ounces of brandy. Put in our cocktail shaker here. Then we're going to put in, and the recipe usually calls for um, three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau, but because the, the Spanish brand is a little sweet, right. I'm just going to put in half an ounce. Okay, and Cointreau is like Grand Marnier. Yeah, it's an orange, orange, sweet sort of right, know, liqueur. liqueur. Right. So it's kind of strong, it's got some kick to and it, but it's very sweet. some people drink it by itself? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. with ice or without ice. And we've got some lemon juice here. Okay. So I'm going to put in fresh squeezed, fresh, fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's right. And I'm going to put in an ounce of lemon juice. It's almost like baking. Baking, you have to be very precise. Cocktails. Cocktails the same way, you know, yes, especially when you're when you're sort of just starting out. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. No kidding. I learned something new. Close it up. And you have to shake it for a while. Now that's key. That's not for show. No, that's not for show at all. So we've got the glasses nice and chilled. And then one of the things about the sidecar is you're supposed to serve it with the glass with a sugared rim. Ah. And I like to just sugar half the, half so the rim. So you can have a choice so you of can whether choose. you want it. Right. I tell you, you see you're good. These details, they matter. Details matter. And then we just strain this into you the strain glass. strain it. Always strain it to something more special. And that there we have it. That is so cute. Sidecar. You know what? We're going to move on to the next one. We're going to move okay. on to the next one. So this drink was actually invented at the bar called the Floridita, Floridita in Havana, in Cuba. Mm. And it was supposedly a, a favorite haunt of uh, Hemingway's. Ah. He spent a lot of time there drinking daiquiris. Known to have a drink or two. He was known day. to have a drink or two in his day. So it's a Cuban drink, so we're using rum. Ah, uh, rum. Good. Havana, Havana Club. Cuba. See, that's not something I'd ever see in the States. That you get here in Spain? Yes. Yes, it's actually... Uh, that's Cuban. Oh, that's right. Product of Cuba. In the States. That's right. Maybe one day. Okay. Maybe soon. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a shot, one and a half ounces of white rum. And then we've got one half ounce of lime juice. Fresh. Fresh squeezed lime juice. Yeah, lime and rum seem to go very nicely together. They do. Yeah. One half ounce of sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth. Yes. Okay. And then this is the, the sort of tricky part. Uh -huh. You put a dash, which is a, almost as small an amount as you can pour from yeah. a bottle, of grenadine. Grenadine. And then about the same amount of creme de cacao. Blanc. Like the white one. Oh, because you want the white. Because you want it to... Okay. To, it's, it's just clear. Cacao. Exactly. See. Okay. So that it doesn't turn it brown. Perfect. And that's that. And then, as yeah. always, yeah. lots That's of ice. ice. Yeah, very interesting. One recipe from a bartender, some guidance was, you should shake it until your hands hurt from the cold. <laughs> okay. 
All right. I'm not quite that militant. <laughs> and strained into the glass. Very, it's very a nice pretty. color, no? Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to taste our cocktails. Now, if this were wine, of course, I'd say, which one would you try first? The, the, the uh, sidecar or the Florida, but you probably shouldn't do that with. Mm, yeah, oh, it's a one, it's, one kind only. Yeah, usually. Okay. Yeah, usually you wouldn't, you wouldn't go on a, a round a of cocktails, test, a taste right. test. Um, and we don't have food because you don't, you could have food with cocktails, but it's usually a before. It's usually before dinner. You know, you'll, you'll have a, you know, an hors d'oeuvre or a snack or right. something, but for the most part, you have a cocktail or maybe two and then it's on to dinner. So I'm going to start with the sidecar, which again is... Brandy, lemon juice, and Cointreau. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm. That's good. Mm. Not too sweet. It's not cloying, but it's not like bone dry. Right. This is the kind of thing I would think very much would sort of get you ready for right. a nice meal to come. Exactly. Perfecto. Exactly. Right now we're moving on to this one, Floridita. Floridita. Right. Cuban. Cuban. And again, tell me. This one has white rum, lime juice, sorry, right. sweet vermouth, creme de cacao, and grenadine. Ooh, lots going on. Okay, a lot yeah, of things going on. Just want to taste. Wow. Mm, this has a lot going on. It's really complex. As a wine drinker, I like to have a lot of different things going on. These cocktails give it to me, but it's, it's different. It's more refreshing. And it's a distinction from wine, which I like to always have with food. So, Jerry, thank you very much for teaching me something about cocktails, which, like I said, I don't know. And I hope you all have learned as well. Well, thank you for having me. Any other It's extra been great tips? fun. Just fresh. Huh? Tell me again those three things. Ah, follow a good recipe, use fresh juices, a lot of ice. Okay. So, for wines, for recipes, for much, much more, including the recipe for Floridita, and a good sidecar with Spanish bread, the hit my website, sogood.tv. Cheers. <laughs>